Hey, what's up guys? It's your girl Mamba and we are back to do the Venom 2 Let There Be Carnage trailer. This came out two days ago. I'm finally getting around to it. So I'm rushing because I'm running out right now, but you're going to hear people in the apartment. Let's just do this. All right, here we go. We should be out there snacking on bad guys. I am a predator. I need to be free. You have got to get control of your aggression, or you will get hauled off into Area 51. You live in my body, you live by my rules. I'm sorry, I don't know what came over me. Please let me fix it so I can bring it again. You are a loser. Give you my story. People love serial killers. Do you just why me? It's mine. It's yours. And what's yours? It's mine. I have tasted blood before, and that is not it. Oh, I'm digging that. Oh, oh. okay. Okay. Um. All right. So. <laughs> I want to say I love this. I want to say I love the trailer, but I, I gotta be honest. I'm I'm not super happy. But you know what? What am I expecting? The first Venom wasn't all that all that great. I mean, I will say that the last Venom was definitely an improvement from their last attempts of doing Venom in theater, but I have to say that this is just, I'm a little disappointed because Carnage is my favorite. And I have to say visually he looks great, but here's my issue. So the same issue I had with the first film where even though Venom looked great and everything, I had an issue with how, you know, his humor was. It was kind of, I don't know, I think they were trying to upplay his humor while still somewhat being dark and it just, it wasn't the greatest for me. I have to say I'm a huge Tom Hardy fan and I really don't like him as Eddie, I have to be honest. I just, I don't know what it is, it's just something that just doesn't mix well there. And the same thing, it looks like they're carrying the same kind of feel into the Carnage movie. A lot of the jokes Venom is doing in there is kind of cheesy. It's I don't know if they're trying to make light of him because he's technically an anti-hero in this, but I don't know if they don't want to make him too dark like he is in the comics because they're trying to make Carnage the real villain here. But I just... Uh, um, again, Carnage looks great. He does. Visually, he looks fantastic. He's, a, he's violent just as, as I'm expecting him to. He's way worse than Venom in that set. And that's... Um, department and I was I had my reservations about Woody but seeing him kind of playing more on the Cassidy level where he's a psycho killer it, it, it's don't it's, you know it's it's growing on me it's growing on me and I know Woody is capable of being pretty convincing in that you know 
So I'm going to hold my reservations on that. But I already know about Eddie and I already know about Venom from the first movie. Mm, 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 mm. Now, I don't know how they're going to play it with how he catches um, Venom, if they're going to play it completely, how he gets it through his hand or whatever the case. I don't know. We're probably going to see that later. Who knows? But I don't know. This, I think, is going to be another maybe C-rated movie. I don't know. You guys let me know. These are huge, huge villains of uh, Spider-Man. And these standalone films are just not doing it for me. I don't know. Comment down below. Let me know. Fuck. All right. Peace of chicken grease.